Well, uh, the situation is really quite precarious for both the Kremlin and the Communist Party, because in Russia, you don't have uh, the usual uh, government versus the opposition system. You have uh, three tiers. One is the Kremlin, which wants the reform and which is also afraid of destabilizing the situation and losing control. You have uh, the uh, so-called system opposition, like the Communist Party, who want, on one hand, to uh, capitalize uh, and to mobilize their supporters on this uh, on these protests, but at the same time, they also benefit from the system. So they don't want to mobilize it or ruin their relationship with the Kremlin. And you also have the so-called non-system opposition, which just wants uh, Putin to go and which wants uh, the reform to fail, etc. So uh, the communists were allowed to have their protests in order to diffuse the tension in a way, uh, because otherwise these people would uh, attend uh, rallies that were organized by the by more radical opposition. Uh, and it, the communists have been able to, uh, to win a, a lot on this reform because it's hugely unpopular. Most to say 90%, uh, roughly 90% of Russians disapprove of this reform uh, and communists have been able to win uh, two gubernatorial elections, which is very, very rare in Russia for the opposition party to win 